Welcome. Today we're going to learn how to build a progress bar. Um, for more information about this and other ones, make sure to check out my site at www.freeadobeflashtutorials.com or if you have any questions or comments or requests, you can uh, email me at freeadobeflashtutorials at gmail.com. Okay, so progress preloader bars. So if you're incorporating multimedia or you're incorporating other kind of files into the web, sometimes that takes time. Um, viewers want to know the progress of how the uh, file is being downloaded. They want to make sure that, that the file is still being downloaded. So progress bars or preloaders, whatever you call, want to call them, um, kind of serve that purpose. And uh, today we're we're gonna I'm gonna split this off in two different tutorials today I'm just gonna get it set up and get all the crucial elements involved and then the next time we're gonna focus on the action scripting on turning it you know, bringing it to life so let's open up a flash action script 2.0 file to get us started so the example I want to use or the situation I want to want to set up is I want to eventually get a get a swift file that you can press a button to import a photo and then a progress bar and a percent loaded um, area will will tell us how fast um, the file is being downloaded and as our picture comes into view. So we need some um, few important elements. First of all, we need a button. So let's create a button. Next, press for press to view the photo. We want to select all of this and turn it into a movie clip, basically to, be, to become a button later on. So we'll label that button, and then in our properties panel, it's very important to label this button MC. You can actually label it anything you want. I just choose to use button because I'll remember that when I'm doing the action script. And this underscore MC will tell um, Flash that it, it is a movie clip and give us some code hintings when it comes to doing the action script. Like I said, it's not um, required that you put it in there, but it just helps give some code hints. So we have our button. We need a progress bar. Now for the progress bar, I want to keep the stroke on uh, yeah, let's make this black color. It's important we keep the stroke on because what I want to have eventually done is that the black, the box will stay and then the bar will increase as the file is being downloaded. But we need, we, what we need to do first, excuse me, is to separate these two. Um, by holding down shift and clicking on the outside corners, we can grab the outer edges. Um, to change our strokes, you can come down here to the properties panel and set the your width of your stroke. I've set mine a little bit higher so we can make sure to see it. And then once we have all the stroke outlined, we press F8 to turn it into a movie clip. We're gonna call this the, the uh, progress holder. Yeah, holder. We'll call this holder MC. So we have holder MC on the for the stroke. On the inside, we'll select the inside, turn that into a movie clip as well. Name that prog bar. And make sure to label it down in the properties panel. Prog bar MC. Let's remember that. Okay. We need a set of text that can show us um, how much percent the file is being downloaded. Um, so if we select our text tool, we have different types of text available. We have static text, that's just the kind of text that you write on. Input text where a user will actually input it, and a dynamic text is a text box. It's just a text box that um, will change, and we can generate the actual outcome or the text with action script. So let's set this box. Um, 
sure these properties apply to the text or to the text once it's filled in. Just want to make sure it's black, make sure it's defined. Um, but we won't actually put any any text involved right now at this point. Okay, so we have our button. We have our progress bar that's going to load. We have the outside that's going to stay there, and we're going to have. Oh wait, I almost forgot to uh, name our dynamic text box. We're going to call this uh, um, percent underscore mc. Or no, we want percent txt. Excuse me. Just like mc is for a movie clip, txt um, is for text, and then it'll give you different code hints when once we're in action script. Okay, so we have the button. We have our progress bar. We have the text to load into. We need a, a placeholder to place the photo or the file that we're going to import. To do that, I'm going to press Apple F8 to create an empty movie clip. I'm going to label that empty to make sure. Remember, that's my empty placeholder. I'm going to take my empty placeholder and drag it out to the stage. So we have. And then we need a separate layer for action. This will be our action script layer. And then we can start putting in the action script to turn these things into life. Um, one thing I did forget to do that, that, that's very helpful is to separate these out on different layers. Um, we can use different layers to make sure they don't interfere with one another. Right now they'll, they'll work okay, but that's just standard practices to, to make good layers um, to keep keep things separated. Okay, so that has it. I think we're, we're pretty set up. If we we also need a file to save it, and we got to make sure to... I created a folder on our de my desktop called Progress Bar. And I'm going to label this FLA, Prog Bar, FLA. Also in the folder, I put a, fo a picture, a photo, that we will import next time. And if we press Apple Enter, that's what we have so far. So we have all of our elements. We have a button. Um, we have a progress bar. We have our, our, t our text that's going to show us the percent. We have an empty placeholder. And uh, all we have left to do is then to, to turn this into life with doing some action script, which I'll show you how to do next time. Um, I'm going to hopefully try to get this FLA, once it's finished, up onto the web that you can actually download it and uh, toy around with it and play around with it if you would like. Um, to check out more information and find that out, you can you can get that on www.freeadobeflashtutorials.com. Or if you have any questions or requests or comments, we'd love to hear from you at freeadobeflashtutorials at gmail.com. Thank you very much.